I took Amrit when I was quite young, so I was probably about 11, and I took Amrit at Nishgam. Uh, and um, that, because I was really affected by Sikhi, having grown up into that environment, um, I actually took Amrit before my parents. Um, but it was very difficult because actually schools back then in the early 80s um, were very strict and I went to Lord's Girls School and you weren't allowed like today to cover your head or wear trousers. You had to wear a skirt, you had to wear knee-high socks and that was it. There was no kind of like the quality stuff. None of that was prevalent actually. There was no, no, none of that recognition of difference. Uh, you know, it doesn't really matter what your religious belief was actually. So that was really tough for me. There wasn't the level of support. I didn't see a lot of people at my age taking Amrath. You know, it felt like quite a lonely experience. And I think I kept it up for probably about a good two years, I would say, you know, where I try to do my part and, and read and think about what it meant. And I, and, you know, and then I think it just became very difficult at school for me. And I really, really struggled with that sense of um, what that meant. Uh, and also school, you know, in those days, uh, whilst at home and where, you're, where you are at primary school and where you live, it was very diverse where I lived. Grew up in Rotten Park Road, um, so quite diverse, you know. Um, but then when you go to uh, Lords of Girls, it was very much a white school. I think in my class, there was only about four of us or five of us that were from Sikh and African backgrounds, for example. So that just tells you how white the school was. Um, and you were really made to feel actually your difference because, you know, the kind of connotations of being called a Paki, um, you know, uh, which is a reference to being a, of a different colour of skin really, as far as I see it, um, became more apparent. And I think, you know, that open racism when you're out and about was more prevalent, I think. When you're young, you're really sheltered from a lot of that. Um, but it, became, it was almost normalised, I would say, really. People, you know, you didn't think to sort of uh, you know, react against it or take it up like you would now. You know, there's so much legislation and, uh, equ you know, equalities legislation, but just how we are supposed to accept difference and diversity is so different today than it was back then. Um, and so you grew up with a lot of that stuff, really, I think, you know. Um, and, I th and, th and then actually my parents moved house to be closer where my dad was at the Gudwara in Smedic. Uh, and then I moved school and I went to Langley High School, which was a mixed school. And again, that was completely different. So I went from a school which was very strict. Education was like, you know, very good. Uh, but actually how to be a girl and how to behave. So we had typing classes in that school and cookery classes. And it was very much about learning about etiquette uh, and that kind of stuff. And some of that was great, actually. Um, and elocution and all this thing. You know, actually, those are the kind of things we learned out there. Then you go to a mixed school and actually suddenly you're exposed to people having quite, you know, open relationships in school, uh, not, not from our community, but from definitely from the white community, you know, things that were frowned upon in our community and things you're not supposed to talk about were suddenly you're exposed to in a completely different light. And it's, it's really bizarre because we've only gone from Birmingham to Smethwick, but yet the experience of growing up just seemed so hugely different. Uh, so and maybe that was a lot to do with being in a mixed school as well. Uh, so yeah, so that experience was quite, I think, quite different. I went from being somebody that was picked on in a white school to being somebody that defended other people being picked on in my school. And I remember that, you know, that quite a lot of bullies in schools at that time, uh, inappropriately picking up on those that were sort of vulnerable or, you know, just a, you know, easy kind of target, uh, which I took great issue with. And I just thought it's just unacceptable, really.